Mic check, one, two, one, two. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Tank B Chopping, and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. All right, guys, so what we're going to be doing on this cut is a mid-drop fade. We aren't taking any length off the top. We're leaving the length on top, lining him up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, we are going to be using the, the new cordless Auster Fast Feeds. And, uh, but yeah, man, that's basically what we're doing. So let's go ahead and get into this cut. So jumping straight into this haircut, as you can see, I am actually using my X Evo from, uh, from Gamma. And this actually has the new X Pro blade on it. Now, this is my favorite, uh, my favorite blade from Gamma and Stylecraft. I really like this blade a lot. Uh, it balls out really good and it lines up better than the other blades, in my opinion. So if you're looking to cop this blade, you can actually go to the Stylecraft or the Gamma website and you can purchase this blade and use my code Tank10. But anyways, that's enough about that, guys. Let's go ahead and start talking about this haircut a little more. So what I'm doing right here is I'm taking my shaver. This is the Babyliss FX3. Unfortunately, I don't have a discount code for Babyliss. But nonetheless, guys, probably one of my favorite shavers right here. And what I'm doing is I'm taking the sides all the way down to that shaver length, as short as we can possibly get it. That way, this haircut lasts my client as long as it can last them. You know what I'm saying? So the closer we get to that initial bald guideline, y'all going to see me flicking out and relieving some of that pressure that way it doesn't leave a harsh line all right guys so here is the clipper that has the internet going crazy right now these are the uh, cordless Auster fast feeds uh, this is my number four guard on there as y'all can see I'm using the purple mag um, the purple magnetic guards from Andis uh, they did give me some guards with the clipper but I'm not a big fan of those guards so I, I decided not to use them I decided to opt out and use my uh, my purple magnetic guards and that's what I'm doing here so once again guys this is my number four guard on my clipper and what I'm doing is I'm just helping set in that shape for the fade that I'm looking for so what we're gonna do on this cut guys is I'm gonna actually uh, go through the steps on one side of the head and then we're on the opposite side of the head I'm gonna talk about the clipper just a little more because you know I did an unboxing and whatnot but nonetheless guys here is my number three guard lever all the way open and we're coming right below what we did with that number four guard uh, and we're just basically doing some down fading technique debulking the size that way it's a little easier for me to fade in and now this is my three all the way closed and I'm coming right below what I did with my three open. So mind you guys, this clipper does open up a little uh, a little more than the normal, you know, like the gamma, the walls, or when I say gamma walls, I mean like the X, the X Evo or the uh, the Rebels, you know what I'm saying, the wall seniors, the wall magic clips, uh, the Babyliss clippers, These this uh, blade does open up more. So you got to keep that in mind when you're using it. Alright guys, so what I'm doing here is I have my lever all the way open and normally this would be a half but with this uh, lever stretching as much as it does, it makes it almost a, a full one. So what I'm doing is I'm coming up on my client right here, bringing my next guideline up to three quarters of an inch to an inch and I am going up a little more and the reason for that is because once again guys, this lever does open up a little more so I want to stretch that a little more. And once again, guys, we are following that shape of the head that we created. Just going back, being real consistent with it. Uh, this was my first haircut with this clipper. So, you know, I was trying to be really careful with it and make sure that I was doing uh, the best I possibly could. So now this is my number one guard lever all the way open. And I'm coming up another section following that same shape and still using a, a slight flick out motion. And remember guys, this is the first time I was using this clipper. Uh, I don't want to brag or toot my own horn, but I think this is going to be the first haircut tutorial on YouTube using this clipper. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is going to be the first tutorial if I drop it in time before anyone else drops a tutorial using this clipper. But nonetheless, guys, this was my one all the way open. And as you saw me do right there, I closed my lever halfway and I'm coming right below that, still following that same shape. And then I'm going to close my lever all the way and try to get rid of that bottom line in this section. And for the most part, it should get rid of this line. And the reason why I should get rid of it is because, remember guys, with my lever all the way open, it actually it's actually a full one. It's not, it's not a half like normal clippers. I don't want to say normal clippers, but it's not a half like most clippers. And if for whatever reason it doesn't take out this line, that's perfectly fine, guys. I know that I still have that 116 guard that I can use or that zero guard to help get rid of these lines and these discrepancies in that section. 
So obviously it didn't get that line completely out. So I decided to put my 116 guard on my clipper. I have my lever halfway open and then I'm just coming up slightly into that section, really just trying to erase that line. And as you can see, it's erasing that line a little bit. So I'm gonna go over these darker areas that I need to go over to, uh, you know, to erase that line. And then whatever doesn't come out completely, I'm gonna go ahead and go over that one more time with the lever all the way closed. And as you can see, these lines, you know, it, it is erasing the lines. It's making this, uh, this fade look a little more blended. And that's exactly what we're trying to do. And as you can see, I am going over some of these areas a good amount of time using some slight lever play. And once again, the reason for that is first time using these clippers. And I just wanted to make sure I got this haircut as blurry as I can possibly get it. Uh, this is my number two guard, guys. I have my lever all the way open. And what I'm doing here now is I'm attacking that top line. And as you can see, I am using a flick out motion. And the reason for that is I want this to blend nice into that three that I did earlier in the cut. going over it a couple times being really consistent with it and then we're going to close our lever as you can see my lever is all the way closed there if uh if you're not too fluent with these clippers i'm really not too fluent with them i'm not gonna lie but i had i had confidence with what i was doing so i decided to close my lever all the way but if you aren't too fluent with them or you're not too confident with the clipper what you can do is close your lever halfway first and then uh and then go with your clipper all the way closed but i just said you know what i'm gonna go ahead and try it with it all the way closed and then uh just you know i just started messing with that line and for the most part as y'all can see is getting rid of that line so a lot of people think that you can skip a lot of guards with this lever and i don't really think you can i, I still think you have to go back and use all your guards to make the fade look nice and blended so now what i'm doing guys i'm going back in and detailing basically uh correcting any discrepancies or any mistakes that i see in the cut so this is my one eighth guard or my number one guard lever all the way open and as you can see me to do as you saw me do right there guys i just started adjusting my clipper uh just you know i just felt that the clipper needed to be closed a little bit for this section and i'm gonna open and close that clipper as needed to get rid of these dark areas and just to make this blend look even better Alright guys, so now my next step is working this uh, last bottom section. So I'm going in with my lever all the way open and as you can see, I'm attacking some of these discrepancies towards the bottom of this fade. And I'm going in with some corner blending. And the reason why I'm doing that, guys, is I don't want to put my 116 guard or my zero guard, my zero guard on there if I don't need to. So I'm just attacking these areas first. And now what I'm doing here is I have my lever halfway closed and I'm coming up into the section, you know, about halfway from my original two guidelines. I don't know if you remembered, but mentally you have to remember where those first two guidelines are. So I'm basically coming up about uh, maybe a quarter of an inch or so with the lever halfway open using a slight flick out motion and then adjusting my lever closed and bringing the clipper lower that way I don't go too high into this fade. So now I'm just attacking the bottom of that line with my clipper all the way closed and these clippers aren't zero gap guys. I did not zero gap them for this video. So it's not going to get that line completely out but what it's going to do is it's going to help lighten that line a little bit so it's going to help me to get this line out you know before I move on to my next step. Alright guys, now to get this blend really to come together, I'm going to have to erase this bottom line, obviously, right? We don't want to have that line in the fade, so I'm going in with my trimmer. And the reason for this is that line didn't come completely out, so I have to go in and erase this line with a trimmer. Now, you can use the trimmer that you use to put in the uh, the bald guideline, but I just grabbed whatever trimmer was on my station, like closest to me. And this is the new Babyliss Low Pro FX. These just dropped also the other day. And uh, yeah, man, so I used that to get out that line. And now what y'all see me doing here is I'm lining up my client starting off in the middle of my client's hairline and uh, setting my first initial guideline and as you can see here I'm just moving my way all the way over till I get to that vertical bar 
hit that vertical bar, try to make that look as sharp as possible. Uh, we're gonna hit them with a nice little C cup, nothing too crazy. And then that's basically uh, basically gonna be it for this side of the cut. Uh, what we are gonna do is go back in and detail it. As you can see, I don't feel that there needs to be a lot of detail work done. So I didn't do a lot of detail work, but on this opposite side, uh, we're just gonna go ahead and run through the same steps, guys. So let's go ahead and talk about this clipper. If you're tuned in just for me to talk about this clipper, now's the time. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because I did do an unboxing and I did go live on YouTube a couple days ago to talk about this clipper. Now, once again, guys, this is probably the first haircut tutorial. I'm not gonna say it is the first, but it's probably the first haircut tutorial using the cordless uh, Oster Fast Feeds. And everyone's been asking me what I think about them. And so far, man, like, you know, I said in the original unboxing that they were a solid clipper, but the more I use them, it, it kind of, it, that that kind of goes down the idea and the reason why I say that is I just feel that they don't have enough power Like when I turn them on they just really don't feel as strong as any of my other clippers uh, However, they do cut you know what I'm saying I still haven't had a hard haircut or haircut with a lot of bulk that I needed to debulk a lot of hair with So I haven't really put them to the test just yet uh, I am gonna you know run these clippers for the rest of the week uh, See what they do for the rest of the week and then I will be giving y'all an updated review on these clippers And uh, I'm gonna let y'all know what I honestly think about these clippers guys and and I know that there's big hype around this clippers like there's a lot of hype surrounding them Everyone's talking about them. People are asking me. How did I get them? Where did I get them from? Well, I purchased these clippers off a of 614 barber supply guys I don't know if they still have them, but I have googled uh, the Oster cordless fast feeds and you can find them on different websites I believe Atlanta barber supply has them on pre-order right now and they're dropping the 15th I believe not 100% sure, but nonetheless guys if you google it, you can find it uh, I think they're going for about 220 everywhere that I've seen so that's pretty basic uh, people been asking me if I think that's worth it and it, it just depends if you like collecting clippers or if you really like this clipper now a lot of people have been asking me if you can put a ceramic blade on here I haven't tried that just yet but I might try it here soon and the reason for that is a lot of people are going crazy about the corded version of this clipper because you can put a ceramic blade on it and it, it made the cutting feel better you know what I'm saying like it made the cuts come out better so I'm, I'm gonna see if I can do that and if I can I'm, I'm gonna update y'all on everything but nonetheless guys this side of the cut is the same exact steps I did on the opposite side uh, for whatever reason I felt that this side was a little harder didn't come out as clean Still came out good, don't get me wrong, but it's just not as clean as the opposite side. Uh, if y'all have any concerns about that or any questions about it, let me know. Drop it down in the comment section. Get active, get active in the comment section and we can talk about it. Now what your boy is doing, I'm just lining him up on the opposite side. And this is basically the cut, guys. I did not record me hitting them with the uh, with the razor. Did not record it before. But, yeah, this is the cut. You know, I did line them up with the razor. So, y'all let me know what y'all think about this haircut in the comment section. If y'all like this video, please make sure to smash that like button. Also, if you're new to my channel, make sure to subscribe one time for your boy. Remember, also, if y'all want a haircut from your boy, you can go to my website, tangbechopping.com, and you can book on there. But that's basically it, YouTube. I appreciate y'all for watching. Until next time, let's go.